yeah, this looks perfectly normal. Send it out. <laughs> <laughs> I read about an interesting thing, thing that I didn't know just the other week, auto brewery syndrome. Has anyone, have anyone of you heard of that? Just say that for me again, KJ. Auto brewery syndrome. That's no. when you have specific bacteria and fungi in your bowels that ferment alcohol. Oh wow! So, so <laughs> it, it can happen if you uh, if you lose more or less all of your uh, bacteria in your intestines. And then oh. something else moves in and takes that place, and then they start producing alcohol. So you're constantly a bit pissed. So, so the question is, uh, how do you go about doing that? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> some uh, some sort of poisoning first. Yes, you, you, I think you should start with some kind of deep cleansing thing to to remove all the good ones. But uh, most people don't know. I mean, it's it's really rare, and most people don't know that they have it. They just are very tired most of the time and then they get caught in some kind also of... I might have it already yeah yeah you might yeah, uh, yeah. if you haven't done uh, uh, being caught by the police on uh, when you do the, the drinking tests whatever that's called Breath that's when most test, people yeah. find out uh, yeah. that they have it because they even when they haven't been drinking they <laughs> they have a blood alcohol level oh wow I think it's really fascinating. That's, that's that, really that's, interesting. Such things can happen. <laughs> but then I think you it will come gradually, so you will never expect, since they obviously then don't know they have never had a bus. Uh, they've just had like a slowly increasing blood alcohol levels, but not enough to make it tipsy, and then you just acclimatize, I guess. So Yeah. So it's, it's like really being drunk that, without it? having the, the bonus. Yeah. Because I always thought that tiredness feels a bit like getting pissed as well. So maybe I'm, maybe I've got that. I'm a lot. <laughs> I think a lot of our listeners are <laughs> <Yeah>. considering. <laughs> Have I got it? How can I get it? <laughs> some, some important questions here. <laughs> uh, we need to uh, get in touch with the medical expert. See what he's got to say on this. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, we should have him on soon. We should just accumulate questions, and then we should have a a, a medical uh, edition episode. <laughs> like uh... the doctor is in. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we should accumulate a lot of minor medical problems. Not quite enough to go to the doctor ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> just just make a long list and ask him ask him about them all. That Everything that's it. wrong with us. I yeah, mean, that's I... that really sounds like middle aged man. <laughs> We we might have a, a liability clause, but that would be cool. Just ask the listeners to just all right, but just just send us stuff, and then we just put it together, and then we'll have a, the doctor on, and we do a full episode <laughs> where we just talk about what the different kind of people can have. <laughs> <laughs> you get a lot of weird photos taken at different angles. No, no photos, just text. <laughs> Poor, poor James. Can you imagine if uh, you, you had an episode dedicated just to you, Havard or KJ, asking your specialist subject? How do you feel <laughs> at the end of that? Yeah, luckily we don't. It's not going to be that personalised. Yeah. Um, yeah. Might take a deep sigh when you ask for a new plant name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been a while. <laughs> What's uh, this episode's plant name? <laughs> really? <laughs> Don't you have a list ready? <laughs> All right, you could have one. Salix Integra Hakoru Nishiki. There you go. That was a long one. <laughs> <laughs> do what you normally do. I've never heard of that. <laughs> <laughs> like anything Latin, yeah. <laughs> I think there's a bit of Japanese in that one as well. Yeah, sounds like it. But that being said, I, I'm going to have three weeks vacation soon, and then it aligns with the project at work. So there, the the two weeks before that is going to be very slow. So it's like I might use one of those two weeks to just wrap everything up and plan for after the holiday, and then I have like a bonus week. I can, if there's not much happening at work, I might take an additional week of vacation, and then. 
we haven't planned on taking the kids out of kindergarten that week. So then do I spend that entire week to just really get the garden to shape? Because I do want to do, do uh, a day with uh, the mini excavator and I should be able to steer separate stairs and uh, like get some hedges going and so on. So I, it should be able, if I get a full week, and then I can have uh, Glenn on speed dial and do a live yeah, on Instagram. So you can just, uh, oh, no, no, more to the left, more to the left. All right, that one. And the... That'd be great fun. <laughs> <laughs> Long distance gardening. Yeah. <laughs> it wouldn't be the first time, KJ. Right. I'm sure. But that, that being said, uh, uh, segueing on... Uh, having a, a live feed um i had <laughs> or should i say we glenn we had an experience here the other oh, night. Yeah, I forgot <laughs> about that <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> i the details are murky at best i don't i don't remember how it happened it was it was friday evening um me and my wife we we popped a glass of white wine um my wife had one glass and I went on to to call my mother and then I just kept filling up the glass and did not think more of it. It was more on repeat. And then at some point I uh, just ended up at the computer or something and you sent a message and like, oh yeah, I'm sitting here drinking wine and you were drinking beer and oh, we should do a late night uh, podcast or something. And <laughs> just i think you said like oh just give me a minute and then after two minutes the the whatsapp group called <laughs> and then uh, of course uh luckily or uh, unluckily uh, kj was uh, <laughs> already asleep <laughs> i knew nothing i just so, uh, woke up to a missed video call 57 <laughs> minutes long yeah what <laughs> at but, one o'clock at night <laughs> when i woke up and viewed it it said one hour 57 because of the time difference <laughs> i can't remember being on the phone for two hours oh brilliant and the the fu the funny thing was, of course, I woke up on Saturday and my wife went away on a spa weekend with two friends, so I I was alone with the kids. But I was, I wasn't feeling very well, and I could not <laughs> why. I mean, I could not understand. But then I went to make myself breakfast, and I'm like, oh, that bottle of wine is empty, and. <laughs> I started remembering some details, and at some point we also discussed whiskey. And oh, there is a bottle here on the. Yeah, that's right. I also drank whiskey. Maybe more than once. <laughs> so, so I was I was properly hung over in a way that I haven't been for years. So uh, having a glass uh, of wine every now and then doesn't build the resistance. So when you have more than two glasses of wine, then suddenly, yeah. I was really hungover on Saturday, so it was a slow, <laughs> slow day with the kids. They got to decide a lot. <laughs> One thing I do remember was I think it was about half an hour in. I think I, did, I think I decided I was going to call it a night, and you held up a wine glass half filled with whiskey and said, "But I just poured this." <laughs> Oh. Okay, let's, let's carry on talking then. That's that was fine. It was nice, so and um, and then you realise that the whiskey you were drinking had considerably gone up in value. Yeah, to, to, to two thousand pounds a bottle, and you're there swigging it out of a wine glass <laughs> like a true gentleman. Oh. So that's what a full pint sounds like. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Too bad that you didn't record it. <laughs> I, I really regret that uh, not having that idea because you said it. It would be nice for you to catch up on what have been the topics, but for myself as well. I think there is a lot of details that got lost on me there. Yeah. I don't. I don't think I can remember a whole hour worth of conversation. No, so, no, no. <laughs> but it was nice. I remember that, which is. Most important. I love. I love how we went on to this conversation about our little meeting and not, to, you know, in the full episode, instead of talking about your actual make a meet up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, that as well. <laughs> that also yeah. happened in the last uh, couple of weeks. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. I thought we talked about that in the half pipe, but no, we didn't. We saved it for now. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we had like a, a West Coast maker meetup of, in Norway. I think uh, there is four four people I know in the, the region around Stavanger who is makers, and then uh, we haven't. I think I met one of them among his sister, and I, I met him at Skaper Festival of last year, but uh, the three others I don't think I've met before, like in real life. So it was nice meeting up and. Uh, we met we Roger at Maker Central, actually. Sorry? We yeah, 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 I met yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that yeah. I did. Sorry. Um, so two or four then. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was brilliant. We had a full-blown meal and then we had a visit in the workshop and cake and coffee and uh, yeah, you commented it looks like an <laughs> old retirement home party where we're sitting <laughs> 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 drinking coffee out of uh, yeah. like uh, fine china and yeah. Woo party! <laughs> <laughs> well, it's my kind of party. All right, you visit a workshop, you have cake, and then everybody was home by nine. <laughs> so... <laughs> it sounds perfect. In yeah. My yeah. Ears. <laughs> so, what was uh, Arne's workshop like? Oh, it was nice. I-, I love it. It's I like it when it's not too organized. And he kept going on like, "All right, I'm- I think I'm going to give Tim a run for his money," but. <laughs> no, uh, not even close. But yeah, there is. I mean, he has a lot of room. He has a lot of tools, and I, I think I could make a lot of stuff there. And uh, really enjoy just being there. So yeah, it's nice. Did you Did you try any of the tools out? No, no, boo. didn't really do. But I I got a selfie with this uh, laser though. <laughs> Yeah, that was the only yeah. picture I think I got yeah. yourself with the laser, not the people. Yeah, but I, I know Ar- Arne took a few pictures of the people, so uh, yeah. he got that covered. So, yeah. I, I asked him to because I knew you'd fail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The only thing I really regretted was I didn't bring any stickers because I, I should have slapped one onto the laser or in a more inconspicuous yeah. place. Yeah. <laughs> the same with the podcast. I, I should just keep those in my backpack. So. Yeah, <laughs> but that was because you were on a work trip, wasn't it? Yeah, that you were in the, those things. I mean, that's a really good thing to have in mind if you're traveling somewhere. Is there people around that you could visit? Yes. Yeah, and that's the thing that uh, I don't, I don't think very much when I travel. So yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, of course, I met uh, Marco uh, as well at the same conference. So we had a, a chat the, the following day as well. Um, and then it was uh, Verktai Logbook, I think his handle is on Instagram. I wondered how you pronounced that one. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I think I did it as Vetch Logbook or something. Yeah. <laughs> but that's a, yeah, that's, that's a 9 out of 10. <laughs> for me, <laughs> yeah, for yeah. Yeah. that's a, a special scale for Glenn. Yeah. <laughs> the Glen scale. <laughs> that sounds like a village over at you, doesn't it? Oh, it Glen lives scale. over at Glen scale. Glen scale. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Glen's Dale, definitely island. would be. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where I was born. That's where I take my name from. <laughs> Yeah, that's, well, it, it uh, sounded really, really nice. I was envious of. Yeah, uh, me too. Having that uh, a small, quiet, nice little meetup yeah. coming from Maker Central and that sort of thing that's big, loud, and not personal, really. I'm not sure if we had any conclusion but we we did discuss uh, who was thinking about attending scarpet festival and not so there uh, of course it needs to align with the work schedules and so on but i think uh, several of them at least plan to go there if everything lines up yeah i think arne is yeah it would be nice if you haven't yeah. met him it would be nice if marco could because i have uh, loads of loads of chat with marco it'd be nice to meet him in real life yeah 
Yeah, that might end things once and for all. <laughs> <laughs> Never On his part, not mine. <laughs> I mean, that's what you're always afraid of, that people just quietly stepping back and disappearing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but that, ooh, we have to talk about that. I mean, it, we still have some time, but we should probably get a timetable for Scarpet Festival and going. Uh, I mean, if you're planning on doing a recording, uh, a workshop visit, and now there's uh, another workshop visit, and then uh, I mean, we should also try to plan to actually go to Scarpet Festival, and I guess so. <laughs> yeah, it would feel weird to miss the event. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'd like to see it, but I'm not that bothered. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually thinking maybe I should, instead of asking people for, uh, um, like. Could you be a chauffeur so I can have a beer? Maybe I should just get a hotel room so I can be in walking distance. So yeah, need to look into that as well. I was hoping you were going to get a hotel room for a couple of nights. Yeah. And do you want to split the room? <laughs> <laughs> Us three spooning in a big bed? <laughs> yeah, I'm in. It's you cold get... in Norway in October. <laughs> I mean, if you get the family room, they always ask, should we put a cot in or something? And yeah, 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 go. I and mean, then it's rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> I'm just wondering who'd be funniest in the cot. <laughs> you already know that. <laughs> <laughs> but KJ's like a folding ruler, though. You can just fold him up and put him anywhere. <laughs> Look into an yeah, Airbnb nice. though, but I mean, nice. but that's going to be outside of city center because I don't think there is any. Well, never say never. Yeah, I've looked at a few hotels. It doesn't seem that bad to me. Yeah, uh, as, as long as you stay away from the really criminal expensive ones, I think it's going to be fine. Yeah, and that's that that's a here. nice thing, uh, at least. Um, when traveling abroad and living at various dubious hotels, uh, I think even the the cheapest one in Norway are at an acceptable. You you, I mean, still the crappiest one. You're not afraid of laying on top of a bed. So, no. yeah, I think I, I stayed at one like a ten minute walk or something like that from the city center, and that was reasonably priced, and I didn't no flaws. In that hotel, so yeah, it's had no floors, <laughs> <laughs> floors, not floors. <laughs> no wonder it was cheap, <laughs> <laughs> had no roof as well. Yeah. yeah, just walk along the joist, that was fine. It yeah. was just a field, <laughs> <laughs> it was a hole with a, with a roof. <laughs> I mean, you can you can bring a tent or a, a lot of parks. Uh, <laughs> get to meet the locals. Yeah, yeah. It seemed like the, there were some people already occupying that space. So yeah, <laughs> that could spark some really interesting conversations, perhaps. But that would be cool, though, because I've seen. What was the name of that movie? A night at the museum, was it? Yeah. 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 I think there is there is a few museums that has actually had that, and I also think uh, uh, one library did that, like one night at the library where, I mean, parents could bring kids and they had like reading sessions and whatnot. And I mean, this is the the, the biggest library of them all. They they should they should have a scopper festival at night, so they actually have <laughs> uh, you can bring a tent, pitch it up inside, and uh, yeah. Maybe we should just pitch that idea. We can we can live on the rooftop <laughs> in a tent. Scarpet festival yeah. and after dark. We'll, we'll help you carry some tables and chairs uh, <laughs> afterwards. <laughs> so have you got have you got a busy week coming up this week, chaps? Um, both no yes and, and no. Yeah. I mean, we're I'm trying to finish up work. Uh, 
in, in preparation of the summer holidays uh, because we're, it's Midsummer's Eve on Friday. Yeah, it's one of the biggest holidays in Sweden. Yeah, so you get to do funny stuff, don't you? <laughs> pretending yeah. to be frogs. Yep, <laughs> pretending to be frogs dancing around a big phallus. That's <laughs> that's what we do, and we eat, uh, <laughs> says it so proudly. And it's cream cake with strawberries. Nice. <laughs> But that being said, I'm actually kind of envious of that tradition because here in Norway we also have like the 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 midsummer, but it's just traditionally you just met up somewhere and had a bonfire by the by the sea, and then of course it ended up just being an excuse to getting hammered and throwing any old garbage on the fire to just get rid of it. But I, it seems a bit more organized and. Uh, uppity um with your tradition so um but we don't really <laughs> i don't know when it's swedes close by so we could just drive over the border and attend uh, the festivities <laughs> Maybe i mean i'm sure there's some uh, some big organized thing that you could go to probably I'm not, I'm not sure if there is a big swedish expat environment <laughs> in oslo and uh, but we do have <laughs> I do have a Swedish flag, so I just have to uh, get the flagpole up again. Then I could, uh, yeah, maybe, no, yeah, maybe next year. <laughs> what about you, Havard? Have you got anything coming up this week? No, um, I'm going to wrap up the KitchenAid. That's on the maker side of things. And then we have two weeks left at work before we are shutting down the project for this summer. So... Of course, this week there is a lot of workshops, so I, it's back to back arranging meetings and workshops. Uh, and then next week we're gonna try to wind down before summer, and we're gonna like update the, uh, like cost estimate based on latest news and so on. So uh, it's it's gonna be hectic, but also kind of nice because you're winding down to that like cut off until summer, and then. I'll have a week after that just to myself um, and the, the boss is away on holiday and I just got to wrap everything up and so on before I take holiday myself. So it's, it's a nice period. Nice. We've got, I um, don't think I'm going to get much making done this week. It's um, our anniversary on Thursday, followed by Michelle's birthday on Friday on the longest day. Followed by Lily's birthday on Saturday, <laughs> <laughs> and then my son's coming to visit on Sunday. So <laughs> that sounds a bit hectic. Yeah, and then the following weekend we're still celebrating Lily's birthday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, she has I, a birthday I, I, week. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't think this is the period of like uh, diving into your workshop for several hours, uh, <laughs> no. being off the radar. No. <laughs> I'm desperate to start a project, <laughs> a longer one. I'll get there. <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah. I had another uh, thought, uh, Hover, about uh, your things, the, about the Hellcorder specifically. If you plug in a microphone to it, how would that sound? <laughs> oh, it's interesting. Yeah, that should. I mean, with my voice and perfect pitch, it should be no problem. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the velvet no voice of Nora. Yeah. Um, yeah, that would be really interesting to find out. Um, I should try that next time I fire it up. Um, which Did is. You, I gonna... mean the... Yeah, go on. <laughs> uh, I mean, there, there's. I, I, I thought about it and Google a bit, and I think there's some filtering problems that you get, don't get the full range of a of the human speech if you plug a microphone into a guitar amplifier but you i mean you get an amplified sound at least uh, but it's like a record a robot yeah cool but i, I could <laughs> also i could also install uh 
like a, a live audio uh, software interface so I can actually tweak my voice before routing that signal into the the processor for the headquarter. So there is, I mean, having a computer there opens up a lot of possibilities on the software side to tweak any signal coming in. Yeah, and you, just, and you have the speaker as well, so we could just get an, probably get an overlay of the recorders and the and the voice at the same time, giving it a really bad steampunk robot sound. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I tried the overlay actually, and it it works, but um, what I didn't take into account is when I turn the volume down, it actually reduces the signal, and it's the same signal that I have tapped into for the computer, so. At some point, ah, you get you yeah. get a cutoff where it doesn't get enough signal for the computer. So I maybe have to like brute force uh, a, a resistor or something, or in the uh, the output part uh, for the speaker. But I mean, not going to use that very much. So no, yeah. The most interesting yeah. is I I got like uh, I ordered a a blank aluminium like pedal box. Um, because I want the fan to be pedal controlled so that I can actually, I mean, you find a sweet spot where all the recorders sound nice, but you have the ability to just press hard on that pedal to really get those yeah. uh, very harsh, uh, crappy <laughs> sounds going. But if you can adjust <laughs> that low, like continuously with a pedal, that would be cool because any guitar amp should have a pedal, of course. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of things I want to do to it, but I think everything works. Um, all I have to do is make an opening in the, the fan hose so that I can actually get a lower pressure Then they sound decent. Um, and putting the lead lights in, I have those laying around, so those are ready. Um, and then it's just finding some tunes I want to play, like try to make a small medley or something, actually trying to play some proper music on it. So it's just yeah. having to figure out which tunes. And uh, that's the boring part, because then, then I have to learn them at a certain <laughs> degree. <laughs> that's why I thought I, I could do a medley, because then I have to just uh, learn uh, 20 seconds of that intro and uh, 20 seconds of that riff. And uh, yeah. Are you planning on putting its own fan on it, or is it? Will it always be connected to the vacuum? No, um, I've realized um, if I'm going to have a fan, it's going to be noisy or extremely expensive. But I would like. Um, I have some leather laying around, so I would like to have like a bellows. Yeah. Mechanical bellows, like like breathing behind, because there is not much movement you have to do to get the airflow going and. It would look really cool with like a a two bellow system with a kind of camshaft and a quiet motor just spinning that around. Yeah. So that's the plan for the three to actually have that integrated. Right. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I was thinking about uh, all the other features that I think of. That's for the next version. Yeah. Now you just have to finish this one. And I'm basically there, so, uh, but yeah, I need to practice some tunes, and of course I do want, I want it to be well-known tunes, so it's going to be, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see if the, the crappy sound is enough to trigger the copyright uh, warning, but, <laughs> I mean, the worst thing that is going to happen is, of course, uh, there are a few record labels that are really, like, they don't like people doing cover versions or anything, but if you stay away from those, then the record labels are just happy enough to just claim any monetization on that video, and that's it. And of course, uh, with my one dollar a week, I can of course just share <laughs> uh, fifty cent of that <laughs> with the record label. I mean, if they want the money, they can have it. So. <laughs> That's going to be the most expo expensive part on that project. So. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 
that's a plan. <laughs> <laughs> it, it throws me. I don't know whether you know we don't do a, an outro or whatever. It throws me. I don't know whether I'm in half pint territory, and for some reason it puts a full stop on me. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, let it all flow. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've, lo- I've lost the don't counter again, so I, I don't know. But I feel we've been in half pint territory for ages. <laughs> uh, barely half an hour. Yeah, twenty five minutes perhaps. Something like that. Into the half pint or Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Been recording for one hour eighteen minutes. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So we have everything we need then. We just need a intro, outro uh, for the half pint uh, main episode. <laughs> then we're done. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like you want to go to bed. <laughs> no, I just uh I'm going to make a new adapter ring for the... Uh, <laughs> better things to do tonight. <laughs> yeah, then talk to us. Yeah. That, that, that's the annoying thing because I made this adapter plate because I, I did a mistake. And then, of course, I tried to fit this. And, oh, God damn it! I need to relocate some holes. And, all right, I should make a new one. And I should do it today because it needs to glue up and harden and of course if i don't do that tonight then i don't have something to continue on tomorrow evening so <laughs> so that's the plan for tonight so yeah but it, it's a it's a it's a 10 minute job so it's not nothing uh, crazy what's your next video about kj i was just gonna say since you didn't ask this time uh, <laughs> <laughs> because my booth with tools treasure trade actually arrived just the other oh week. wow oh, i don't want to know about that <laughs> then, and that's the 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 next video that I'm that I'm editing. Yeah, Did, can we know what it is now? Yes, you can. Uh, it's a heavy metal lightsaber. I just oh my god! Picture. I wondered what I was looking at for a second. Yes. Then. Uh, <laughs> my first I, I'm, I'm very, a lightsaber. I'm, yes. <laughs> I'm very glad you said lightsaber very quickly there because I would not have guessed that. <laughs> <laughs> Sure, sure, because, because it's a lightsaber. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a lightsaber handle, I should say. No, because uh, the one of the, the prompts that stood out to me was uh, liking Star Wars and heavy music. And I thought, well, then you can make a, a heavy metal lightsaber. So I, I started <laughs> out with Darth Vader's lightsaber, which for some reason there are many versions of. You're right. I think depending on the movie. And then I just... Uh, replaced parts with, oh, with the uh, more heavy metal things like uh, leather and studs and that sort of thing. Oh my god! I've just enlarged it, <laughs> and, and two and two balls on the front. <laughs> <laughs> two balls and the f- <laughs> and the four butt plugs on top there. So it's like. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's Star. <laughs> I, I don't think it's a Star Wars universe we're looking at. <laughs> KJ, it's the dark why side. It, why has it got two balls on the front? <laughs> if you zoom in a bit, you see that it's not balls. I can't. Oh, I can't zoom in. Oh, it's skulls. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's okay then. <laughs> that, doesn't, <laughs> that doesn't pose any further questions. <laughs> That's it's fantastic. A, it, it's Does a bit it, weird. <laughs> so, is it essentially a torch? Uh, it it's, it doesn't function. It's just a prop. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, but it, it could be a torch if you if you wanted to. But uh, I was cramped for time and didn't yeah, feel yeah. like it. Uh, uh, so, yeah. That's cool. It Very was fun about. to do something completely different. Uh, and where did it go to? Uh, Australia. Oh wow! Yeah, and it actually got there in like a week or something like that. So it was, I was oh, really impressed. That's weird. <laughs> Just problems of stuff coming into Sweden then not coming. Yeah, out. I think so. I think so. It's border control. <laughs> They're like, yeah, oh, this looks perfectly normal. Send it out. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, not that funny chocolate from England. (laughs) (laughs) I think that was more or less exactly (laughs) how it goes. So when can we expect the video on that then? Uh, Well, I just started editing it it, uh, yesterday. So it's going to take a couple of weeks because I... I mean, I do a rough edit rather quickly, but then I, 
I finically try to micromanage everything <laughs> just for my own sake because I mean no one's watching uh, anyway. <laughs> but yeah. Man. So I'm I'm not in a rush, but we'll see. Nice. Look forward to it. Yeah. Is there some just... have you filmed some humor in this one? <sighs> not there, no. No. Nothing <laughs> nothing so far. I, I, I that was nice. Me, me and Glenn can then pitch you some ideas, I guess. Yeah. yeah <laughs> I can see that Glenn is thinking already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Things that could be added in, sure. But yeah, I didn't feel that creative when I was doing it because I was frantically trying to make stuff work that I only had in my head and wasn't sure that I was going to pull off in the real world. Well, after Havard sent us that little um, intro, little sneak peek into his next video, and me having to play around with it, that's opened a whole new world of possibilities for me. I'm just going <laughs> to take videos off of YouTube and alter them from now on. <laughs> <laughs> Glenn Remix is that yeah. new channel. <laughs> People just farting. <laughs> <laughs> Number one remixes. You just add fart noises every time someone stretches or bends. Or... Uh, I... I... Um, a friend of mine he described someone very accurately one time and I, I just hung on to that description and it, he described a, a person as a symphony of bodily functions <laughs> and I was like alright yeah I mean and everything he did it was in noise uh, and yeah with few melodies <laughs> 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 uh, that might be a good image to end this <laughs> episode on. It sounds it sound perfectly uh, half pinty in my ears, at least. <laughs> good. Uh, good night, everyone, or good whatever you're having. Good night. Goodbye. <laughs> good morning. <laughs> Take your pick. <laughs> Off to the workshop. See ya! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>